So now uh, we can uh, start with the basic structure of our uh, Redux. Uh, so let's jump. We have we have uh, we have multiple packages we need to install uh, in our uh, application in order to make Redux work. So let's jump into our terminal. Let's stop our server with Control C. and run the comments of installation uh, npm we need to install first we have to install redux and redux dev tools extension uh, also we need to use a middleware uh, which is a redux thunk and also we need axios to uh, to be able to make uh, http http requests so to install a package uh, with npm uh, first you type npm and uh, install save then the package name which is uh, redux also we need to install redux dev tools extension also redux Thunk and Axios. That's it. You hit enter and start. It will start installing the packages. So after installing the packages, uh, let's start. Uh, let's start our our server again. So npm start. And while it's uh, while the server is starting again, so let's let's start with uh, building the uh, Redux structure uh, in the source folder. Let's create a new file called store.js. In the store, and uh, as you. If you if you can remember uh, from the last uh, video, we have a store which uh, storing all the states uh, of our application. So first, we need to import create store and apply middleware. Redux. You may find this uh, boring, and uh, uh, to be honest with you, a lot of developers just uh, having a template for Redux and just copy and paste uh, this template in their projects and. Uh, just changing a uh, few things, uh, but they have a, a, a basic template they can use. Uh, they don't, uh, a lot of them, uh, they don't uh, understand the basics and what's going on. Um, actually, it's, it's a, a little hard to, to, to digest, a little hard to, un to understand, uh, but I will uh, make my best to, to explain what's going on here. Uh, so after importing, uh, create store and apply middleware, we need to import thunk from Redux. Redux thunk. Also, we need to import import compose with dev tools from redux dev tools extension and development only okay also we need some uh, variables so let's create middleware equals 
funk. Also, we need a initial initial states. to an empty object so to create uh, to create a store we need to create a variable store equals to create store and here where we apply uh, our reducers and our uh, uh, Let's say we have uh, a middleware also uh, the initial state so first we need to import the reducer root reducer from not created yet but I will create it in a second reducers so in our store we can first apply the root reducer then we have the middleware no it's the initial state initial state also we need to apply some middleware so those middlewares uh, making our uh, redux uh, to deal, to be able to deal with uh, other extensions, for example, uh, other uh, environments. Uh, so uh, in our in our application, we need the uh, Redux to deal with the with the extension we already installed, which is Redux uh, Dev Tools. So uh, we need to call compose with Dev Tools. And then apply middleware, and inside and inside the middleware, we apply our uh, our thunk middleware. So we ha we need first we you can middle uh, apply the variable of middleware which is the thunk we already imported from Redux thunk which is the basic middleware also you need to have a spread operator so uh, if you are not already familiar with this uh, with the spread uh, operator uh, basically is what's uh, it's doing here is that uh, I need this middleware with any uh, other middlewares uh, for for this store that's what's what's uh, doing uh, about this middle uh, this uh, spread operator so after doing that we need to export our our store export default store and that's it for this for this file so first we uh, importantly create store also we have middleware uh, also we have th this thunk uh, from redux thunk also we compose with dev tools which we will use to make our redux uh, extension uh, to, to work if you are not uh, applying any middleware to to use this extension it will not uh, it will not uh, be able to work so and also we have the root reducer as as you remember we are having the store and the store uh, is connected and having all the updated states from the reducer so we know we need to to import the reducer and use it inside uh, our store so let's go ahead and then start creating the reducers uh, in the source folder I will create a new folder and call it reducers and inside reducers I will create a new file which is index.j 
images. So here where we uh, combine all our reducers in just one uh, reducer and set it into uh, just a single parent uh, state. So to, to do that in the code we first import combine reducers from Redux also we need to import uh, the search or our application main reducer so in our application in our case we have uh, a reducer for uh, the states of uh, let's say that we have a text state, we have a uh, movies state, we have a movie state, all those will be uh, combined in just one uh, parent state. So um, uh, this state or this category, uh, we have multiple, we can have multiple reducers in our application. So uh, to to make your uh, your application more organized, let's say that you have uh, a big store uh, e-commerce, uh, so uh, you have multiple categories. You have users, you have uh, products, you have customers, you have uh, bills. So you have multiple categories. So to make your uh, your work more organized, you can split uh, those. Uh, categories uh, and n not just combine them in one reducer you can have multiple categories and multiple reducers and then combine them in one reducer and just for one parent uh, state so that's what we will do here we just have just one category in our application which is the search uh, reducer so let's import our search reducer from search reducer we'll create it in, uh, in a minute and then we export default combine reducers and Uh, as I, I I said, we have a parent uh, state, which in our application I will say or I will call it movies as a parent uh, state. So this movies uh, value will be uh, take, or this movies state will take uh, its values and its states from the search reducer. And that's it for our uh, for our reducers. So I think that's it for uh, this video. Uh, I will continue with the, the Redux structure in the next video. Thank you.